Hi, I'm Brandon. In this video, I'm going to test the new three driving modes for full self-driving beta and find out which one is the most efficient. I'll show you exactly what percentage difference is between each one and hopefully help you decide which one you would want in your car for full self-driving beta. And I've put this video together hopefully to earn your like and subscribe, but also to start a discussion in the comments. Let me know which mode you would prefer and feels like it's most in tune for your driving habits. And let me show you what the driving modes are here. These are the three different profiles that I get to pick from that I'm gonna display in this video. The first one here, it says in the smaller text down here, in this profile, your Model 3 will have a larger follow distance and perform fewer speed lane changes. So if you're going to compare it to navigate on autopilot, this is kind of what it already does in the freeway if you set it to the least aggressive mode. Average here is probably what I'm going to like the most. In this profile, your Model 3 will have a medium follow distance and may perform rolling stops. I don't think there are going to be a lot of cases where performing a full stop is going to be the most ideal situation, especially if there's somebody behind me. If you haven't seen my recent videos, I have been honked at a couple times from full self-driving slowing or stopping completely at four-way stops. And lastly, assertive. If in this profile, your Model 3 will have a smaller follow distance, perform more frequent speed lane changes, will not exit passing lanes, and may perform rolling stops. I just got back from the drive and I need to go lay down for a minute. Here's a couple of clips of the car just acting very erratically. For whatever reason, maybe I chose the, a bad time of day to be testing this. Maybe the sun was blinding the cameras and it wasn't able to see very clearly, but that ride was very jerky. And full self-driving beta isn't usually jerky like this. I'm not sure what the issue is, but it was uncomfortable and it made me nauseous more than once. Checking in again real fast, have I earned your like and subscribe yet? I've found that chill mode is going to be the least efficient, which I kind of expected. And I found that average is about 3% more efficient. And then assertive in this test was only 0.2% more efficient than average, meaning average and assertive were really, really similar to me. So of the three modes, I've decided that average is actually my favorite for two reasons. One, in assertive, when it makes decisions, it makes them rapidly, and sometimes it's a little discomforting. Meaning as you're accelerating after a stoplight or a stop sign, it floors it and it goes really fast, usually faster in acceleration than I'm comfortable with. And the other reason is that the following distance in assertive makes me uncomfortable too. It's almost like tailgating because it follows so closely to the next car, which is not how I normally drive. And the other issue with that is when it does need to step on the brakes because the car in front of me is slowing, it will have to brake much more rapidly because it has less reaction time because it's following so closely. So 
average was my favorite of these three drives. Tell me what you think in the comments below, which one would fit more to your needs. Check out my video up here on one of my other drives. I'm doing plenty of testing with full self-driving beta. I'm excited to be one of the ones that has it right now in North America. And if you have any ideas for a future video, please drop a comment below. I'd love to see it. Thank you sincerely for watching.